DJ Pro CSV file tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and in this video we're going to talk about it. So if you guys watched a lot of my videos I often joke around and saying that you want to look like you're having fun and you're a cool DJ and you don't want to look like you're an accountant doing paperwork. Well in this video it's different. We're doing some paperwork with the CSV files so grab a pair of slacks and put a tie on and let's get started all right so if we go over here to to the app store and we look at what's new with the new update this is version 4.09 and if we look over if we look over here it says added option to export playlist as csv file right here and they did some other minor changes and more support with other controllers, but the biggest update was this CSV file. And it took me a lot of research and actually some people helped me out in the comments explaining what it does. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to um, talk about why you might want to do it. And then also I'm going to print out one of my playlists. So here we go. So we're back in DJ Pro AI. We are in classic mode. Now, in order to access this feature, what we're gonna do, if you see where my mouse is, it's on the record. Now we're going up to the music. And then step number one is to find the playlist that you wanna export as a CSV file. Now, what a CSV file is, it basically is a spreadsheet. So you're, we're gonna take a playlist from DJ Pro in the app and we could export it into a spreadsheet. Why would, why would you want to do this? I'm going to explain a couple of reasons. So first we're going to go over here and it, I was a little bit confused on where I would get the option to do this, but after a couple of clicking, a uh, couple minutes of clicking around, I figured it out. So you go over here where it says 39 songs, two hours and 40 minutes, depending on how big your playlist is, it'll say something different, but you have the option to click on where it says the amount of songs. We click on the songs, it says add from library, add the files, add the queue, add the playlist, analyze songs. I went over all of these in other videos, but today we're talking about export as CSV file. Now we're going to click export as CSV file, and then you're going to get a couple of options depending on what kind of apps you have downloaded on your device and also what kind of device you're using. So we are going to go over here. And I'm just going to put it into my notes. So it, we put it into notes. It says 2002 CSV. Can we change the name of it? Hmm. Let me see if we could change the name of it. Export to CSV. Text document. Okay, so maybe after we'll be able to save the name. So then we're going to go back. Save. All right, so now it is saved as a CSV file into our notes. If you do it into a different app, it'll be similar, but I put it into my notes. And now we're going to go to my notes. I don't really use notes that much on the iPad, but here we go. Done. So now in our notes, we are going to see... We are going to see our CSV file that we just created. Now we're going to click it. So now our playlist, let me see something. So now our playlist that was here in DJ Pro with all of the album covers and everything is now in our notes. So if you look over here, you got the title of the song. So this one is Firework by Katy Perry is the title. We have the artist, Katy Perry. We have the album. And then over here is where it gets interesting. We have the time of the song. So how long the song is, three minutes, 48 seconds. And then we even get the BPM. So we get the BPM and we get the key and then we get the source. This track is from Tidal. So, what are we going to use this information for? Well, one thing we could do, oh wait, wrong button. 
one thing we could do is we could go over here and we can print it out. Now, I, I, my printer's kind of slow, so I did this beforehand. So now we have a printout. So we went from having a playlist in the app to having a printed out piece of paperwork documentation of our playlist. So now, why would you, why would you want to do this? Well, number one is it might be a good idea to back up your playlist. Like I tell you guys, playlists are one of the most important things to DJing, so you know which songs to play, you know the songs in the playlist. So it might be a good idea if you have a printer at home and you worked really hard on these playlists, like I said, adding songs every day, organizing them every day, it might be a good idea to just print it out and then keep it as a file in your office or wherever or with your DJ stuff and then you always have it. So if something happens, if the app crashes, if the app goes out of business, if, if you lose your device, if you drop your device in water, if you can't access your playlist anymore, you have a physical copy of the list. So that is one reason, which always good to back up your stuff if you're working hard and you're taking this seriously, you don't wanna lose all the playlists that you make. Another thing you can do is if these are the songs that you plan on playing and you're used to DJing with DJ Pro, but you're doing an event at a festival, you're doing an event somewhere else where you can't bring your iPad and you can't use DJ Pro, you might have to use CDJs or you might have to use someone else's laptop or you're just not gonna be able to use DJ Pro. Well, now you have your playlist here and then you know the BPM, you know the key, and you could easily DJ on, on, on Serato, on CDJs, on um, DVS, or whatever you might be DJing with. Now, another thing is if you are a professional DJ, you do weddings, corporate events, and formal events with DJ Pro, at some weddings, the bride might suggest that she wants a printout of all the play of all the songs that you're gonna play. Because at a wedding, it's somebody's most important day of their life. So a couple of songs could ruin the whole night. So they might want documentation of the playlist. And maybe you could charge a little bit more for a documented playlist. And then you could even pass this around. You could um at some parties, you maybe put one on the table. So instead of people coming up to the DJ booth, giving you requests and, and distracting you, they'll know, oh, this song's gonna come on later. So that is another reason why you wanna might wanna have this printed out. So that's basically it with the CSV file. What it does is it turns your playlist over here in DJ Pro into a piece of organized, documented paperwork. So that that's what it does and it could be helpful it could if if you're only just using it just to have a copy of your playlist that you worked hard on just in case then it's worth it to have that feature and also if you're if you want to get more professional if you're just, let's say you you do a you're doing a bar mitzvah next week you printed out the playlist that you used and then that that day went great you could you could maybe put a check on the playlist or you could say or you could cross out some songs that didn't work and it's just always good to have documentation. So I hope this helped you guys learn a new thing you could do with DJ Pro. Let me know in the comments if you use this feature, what you use this feature for, and if you like learning about DJ Pro and DJing with the iPad, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thank you.